I think it'd be really interesting for me uh, to tell you guys how these films come about. And this one is like cracker. I'm so excited to bring this story to you. It's a story of who really went to the moon first. And it wasn't Neil and Buzz. <laughs> and I'd like to thank um, the director of this fantastic feature film called Mission Control, David Fairhead. David follows my channel and he knows I like strange stories. And he said, hey, Simon, do you know about Zond 5 and the tortoises that went to the moon? I went, no. So in September 1968, the Russians were actually ahead of the Americans in their own manned lunar landing program using their Proton launch platform. But it wasn't going very well. They'd had a terrible, disastrous launch, and the next mission which they called Zond, Mission 5, Zond just means capsule, was to send a single human in the capsule and orbit the moon and return and land safely on Earth. And that would be the first time that had been done. Another milestone in the Russian-American space race. But there was a problem. It was just too risky. The negative publicity of the proton rocket exploding after they built up the whole thing of a cosmonaut going around the moon would have been a disaster for Russia. So instead, they sent these guys. And I'm really disappointed. I'm so used to, I'm gonna to have to show you my t-shirt now. I'm so used to celebrating Space dogs, <laughs> you know, Belka and Strelka, uh, uh, they're all real heroes of mine. But unfortunately, these guys, these two tortoises, didn't have a name. They were part of a control group, and I think they were just called 29 and 30, which is a little disappointing, but um, what they did is truly amazing. So the two tortoises, along with some fruit flies and some plants, were blasted off from the Kazakhstan launch platform into orbit and then translunar injection. They rocketed off to the moon and the mission was to orbit the moon, take photographs and then return taking photographs of the whole Earth and land safely back at Kazakhstan. But straight away it began to go slightly wrong. When they shot off towards the moon, it became obvious that they'd lost one of their star trackers. And instead of orbiting the moon, the poor tortoises went flying past the moon and out into deep space. They were then captured by the moon's gravity and did this big swoopy maneuver around the moon, but too high up to take any decent lunar pictures. And then started heading back at a rate of knots back to Earth. At that point, the Russians knew that it was unlikely that they were going to have a successful normal landing in Kazakhstan with retro rockets and parachutes. So it looked like the Zond 5 capsule with the tortoises was going to land somewhere in the Indian Ocean. So the Russian Navy sent four ships out to look for it. The story goes that only two of them actually had helicopters, but anyway. The poor guys splashed down safely 
and took four days to get the capsule and open them up. And they did great. The two tortoises survived. And here's some footage of them back in Russia, 29 and 30, being examined by Russian scientists. Oh, why do people do this? Why do people turn tortoises upside down? Let me go, put me up. Anyway, they did great. They didn't feed them throughout the five day mission and they wanted to see how they compared with the control group left here back on Earth. I guess they were named 1 to 28. And um, the two tortoises who went round the moon in a very large loop did great. So it kind of proved that organisms would survive in zero gravity and radiation of space. So it was an important mission, uh, but um, they died for their country, and I would have preferred if they'd become national heroes. And that was going to be my story. It's pretty good, but wait. While looking for footage and photographs of the tortoises, I found an amazing quote, which blows the story into something enormous. So the Zond 5 mission was supposed to be a manned cosmonaut mission. The capsule had a seat in it. And either to lie to the Russian people or just to test some parameters, if you look carefully at the footage of getting the capsule to go to the moon ready, there's a person inside it. Well, that's not strictly true. It was actually a mannequin dressed up in a spacesuit. Now the story gets really great. So in Great Britain, that little island batting above its weight off the coast of France, sorry about this, there's a fantastic scientist by the name of Sir Bernard Lovell. And he was interviewed by the British press talking about the Russians getting to the moon first. And in a typical British way, Sir Bernard said he thought the Russians would get there first and were kicking the butt of the Americans. Okay, thanks, Sir Bernard. And very interestingly, there was a rebuttal, a response from NASA, and they put forward the spokesperson, Jim Lovell. I hadn't sussed this, but we've got the two Lovells, Sir Bernard and Jim. The two Lovells went to war. And Jim Lovell said the Zond 5 mission shocked the hell out of us. I went, why? It didn't go so well. And America is really shocked by Russia putting two tortoises in space. And you know, like in Wikipedia, you have a little box with a number in it, and there's a reference back to the original NASA document. And what it says, is truly amazing. So the whole mission was a bit of a Russian ruse to trick the Americans and use the British. This place, Jodrell Bank, happens to be one of my favorite structures on Earth. It's such an icon of the 1950s of British engineering, and it was never going to get built until it was privately and secretly funded by the CIA. Yeah, did you know that? If you go to Jodrell Bank, there's the big steerable dish there's the Space Center, and then there's the CIA building. It's still there today. They used the steerable dish to get Russian 
ballistic missile radar returns to map out where the radar coverage was in the Soviet Union. And also, they used it in this mission to listen to transmissions back from the spacecraft back to Earth. And what they heard was what shocked NASA. When George Bank was pointed towards Zond 5, which is its real mission, they heard the voices of three well-known Russian cosmonauts on board the spaceship transmitting their messages back to Earth. Hearing the three cosmonauts on board the spacecraft totally freaked out the Americans. It was obvious that Russia was going to land on the moon first. But no, this whole story has a fantastic twist. And the twist is, they were never on board. It was only the tortoises and they weren't talking. What the Russians did, they knew George Bank was the British CIA controlled listening station. And so they transmitted the three live cosmonauts voices up to the capsule and used the capsule's radio transmitter to send their voices back to Earth as if they were coming from inside the Zond 5 capsule. Totally trying to trick the Americans and Jodrell Bank. So that's the real story. The story of the dirty tricks that happened in the American and Russian space race and how two tortoises were the first living creatures to orbit the moon and return safely to planet Earth. What a fabulous story. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.